It is Plane sad. makes emergency landing after passengers get into a bloody fight. <laughs> we couldn't believe it was happening, she said. It was really scary. I had my kids with me and everybody was like, oh my God. She told the news station that crew members refused to get involved and break up the fight. <laughs> Real? <laughs> we are uh, flight attendants, not fight attendants. <laughs> one goal, one thing, one rule, man, that shit don't change. And it's true, real niggas do real fucking things. Everyone's like, why aren't you doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> this is my job. I'm getting paid yeah, for this shit. Get paid Look at this. <laughs> I ain't got to read that shit to no dog. Baby, we don't get paid with this shit. They said, we don't get paid enough <laughs> to deal with this. We got those skirts and pants. <laughs> you think we out here breaking the fights, nigga? No, we had to send you peanuts and liquor. <laughs> after the men, after the men stop fighting. My ribs, hold on. <laughs> I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> they went into the bathroom to clean themselves off and change out their bloody clothes. So Y'all niggas became cool after this? They were taken off the plane by police. Of course y'all were. Dumbass motherfuckers. Now y'all to clean each other up. Man, y'all should be banned from flying anywhere again, son. Y'all both cannot fly nowhere, son. For at least 10 years. Dumb motherfuckers. Man, had to pull a plane up all that wasted gas. Like, son, if I was a passenger, I'd have whooped both of their ass after that. Yeah. Just because I'm like, you done fucked up my flight. Scared everybody around you. People, kids get scared. I might as well whoop your ass too, bro. And now we're in Iowa. And now we're in Iowa. We're in motherfuck Iowa. Man, fuck that. No, I ain't getting no shit. No, no, man, fuck all that. Get up the phone, white lady. Everybody, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make a fucking situation. I'm not. And everybody ain't even finished boarding to go to show you how y'all down bad. And I played my shit right here, and I got my shit. You want to look at it? I got my shit. I paid my money. So fuck you, pussy. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck everybody who got a problem. Let me off this motherfucker. What do y'all, what do y'all think about this? I saw, um, I saw a comment. I forgot where I saw it, but somebody said, um, black people are the only ones that's pitting their artists like against each other, and white people aren't aren't doing that shit. Because white people are lame and they ain't got, you know, you know they boring. We having fun. Man, no, somebody came on my wall saying that dumbass shit. Yeah. And that is a complete, that is a, what's the word? Uh, it's, it's a, uh, it sounds just like fun, fun shaming. Not a falsity. <laughs> it is, it, do feel, it feels like fun shaming. It's, it's a fucking fallacy. One, white people are always pitting their people against each other. Always. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, you, we don't know because we don't know that way many white people bro, like that. We you know what I'm saying? They listening. always do that, dog. Hmm. But here's what I'm going to go on this because the motherfucker who came on my wall with the shit, I was like, have you seen any of these versus battles? He was like, no, but I'm just saying, I'm like, son, dog, the whole deal is irony. It's like, for whatever reason, black people don't get irony, dog. The verses of it was just to say, because we come from in hip hop, because it started with Swiss Beats versus Timbaland. In hip hop, the battles, the DJ battles was all about fun. The battles with rap is all about fun. It's hip hop. It's what we created. It's celebrating black culture. What is this? Check me out. I'm checking. Get it. I broke up with my ex-girl. Here's a number. Psych, that's the wrong number. What does that make you feel? What? Spit that. Sweet dollar tea from McDonald's. Yep. I drink that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super hot fire. I spit that. Ooh. 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 Two and a half men. I watched that. Oh! Your girl always confused my John with her spoon. Pops. Hey, come on, yeah, tall enough so she can ride. Knots. I got the tube, but for you, I keep the merchandise about the shops. They told me I had the battle. I'm like, is this who they set up? I'm like, nah, I can't be. This must be a setup. Round two, round two, you're done. You're done, round two. Let's end it. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Done. What career? But I'm not a rapper. What yeah. career? Look. You got a point. Right, here it is. Boom. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. Bop. Bop. Uh. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. Oh! All the versus battles with black people versus black people, dog. It was celebration. It was nostalgia. Every, even if you get in the comment section, everybody big up and everybody is all positivity. I mean, listen, dog, so when these it, motherfuckers, it's a fun battle because there's a winner in a sense, but it's fun. It's all in love. Dog. Right? So when these motherfuckers come with this, what we pitting? Are y'all paying attention to what's going on? Ain't no winners. Ain't no losers. Right. People ain't being pitted. 
People are celebrating each other. Even artists themselves right. be jamming. Like, oh, that was my right. shit, dog. Yeah. Oh. They're enjoying it. Son, so when they, that's just, I just hate the fact that black people don't, we don't let ourselves enjoy shit, dog. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, what is this hurting? What, like, when you watch that Erica Badu Bro, and Jill Scott one, you like, oh, shit, like, oh. Where's the They just vibing. Gonna do when they come for you. Oh, 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 oh. Working on this for the pays the bills. Working on love. I know you got to get your hustle on. So I pray you love me, baby. Hey now. <laughs> no, nobody shaming nobody. Like, oh, oh, it's like happy, like it's like being like in a family reunion. Like, like they we crack on each other, but the cracks is even like light cracks. Yeah. He's like, oh, look at what Badu wearing. Oh, shit. like this is playful shit, dog. I hate when we gotta always get so serious about shit we ain't being serious about, but real shit, them same motherfuckers uh, are the ones backing up. Boosie, niggas ain't serious about Boosie. That's the same niggas backing up. But they want serious verse battles and wonder why we're versing and shit. <laughs> Why are we bursting when we should right. be getting our children to hook us? I ain't got nothing else to say on that. Same. Justin Timberlake is facing backlash after disabling the comments on his post about the killing of unarmed black men. Amanda Seals came at his neck about um, he turned off his comment section. And she was saying that, uh, you know, no, turn that bitch on and see who, what, what, what your real constituents are like. Let me see a little bit of this. I'm going to say right off the rip, he don't have to fucking put the comments on him. But let's see what she says. This goes out to all the white celebrities. You see, I turned off my comments because I got tired of arguing with racists. But you know what? It's your turn. Turn on the comments. Let them talk to you. A whole lot of racists. A whole lot of privilege. Saying, I don't see color over and over and over and over and over again. You want to be down. Well, let's see what you about. Riri said, pull up. Y'all on some bullshit out here. You buy my album, but you're not even realizing I'm doing black music and I'm saying black things. Come on, turn on. Well, Justin Timberlake is known to be on some other shit with that. Like, this ain't his first time. Like being caught trying to like ride the black wave and then not really be a part. Oh, that? And that's what we're talking about here. Like a lot of people is hating on it because a lot of people don't like Amanda Seals. But she some, is doing the most sometimes. At times, but a lot of times she be right too. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of white celebrities that do that. They choose how they want to engage and disengage with our issues. They'll right. take from our culture. They'll take all the good and they'll just like, but like when, when like we need them on that march, oh, they ain't there for that march. They'll throw up yeah. a little tweet. They'll throw up a little tweet like, this is uh -huh, wrong. Uh -huh, but you ain't uh -huh. really putting no money or no effort behind it. Uh -huh. You ain't telling your people, hey, stop this shit. You know what I mean? You're going to turn up it's your like comment some, section. It's like some peace, piecemeal as as shit. But then you don't even want to take the potential heat that can come from saying, okay, you know what? I got to take back what the fuck I said about the comments, bro. You got to turn them. You turning the comments off, yeah, that don't look good. And it, and, 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 and it, and it goes. Slides a little bit. And, it's, yeah. and, it go, and the thing is, yeah. you're absolutely right. Feature. And you're absolutely right about he don't have to. You're right. But when you talk about the context of you saying yeah. to an ally, if you're speaking mm -hmm. up about this, and then we say, would Joe talk about your history, Justin Timberlake, with black culture, with Janet Jackson, with the whole deal? Da, 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 da. Okay. And they got buku shit, not just Janet, they got buku yeah. transgressions oh, that black people be like, yo, Justin, you be here and there and shit. You know what I mean? And then remember recently when he wanted to be white again, he changed his whole image for looking his like most recent album, looking like, like, like the, brawny tissue. <laughs> he looking like the nigga, right? Like he, it's like, woods he was shit. Dexter in the K in the woods and shit, yeah. bro. Because yeah. he, he wanted, because we in Trump America, he was dropping a new album and he wanted oh. to have a different little image right fast. Oh. It's interesting. That's what I'm saying. When people was riding a Justin defense, I'm like, bro. Oh. For one, but two. When the context is is Justin Timberlake who has got who's fucked up a few times. Okay, yeah, like if 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 you've previously fucked up like in this same vein, then that shit looks and, real. And shit. I mean, only just fucked up, but you throw in your fuck up is not just what you've done, but what you don't do. Right? What you yeah. haven't. Yes. What are you apologizing? Yeah. Why for? am I apologizing for an accident? Well, you, do you think in any way that uh, Justin Timberlake left you hanging out there? 
<laughs> I am speaking to Miss Jackson. <laughs> Do you? Well, uh, the, all the emphasis was put on me, mm -hmm. not on Justin. And uh, <laughs> just Justin, we were friends. Mm -hmm. and, and not that we, we aren't now. We haven't spoken, but, but uh, I consider him a friend. And well, just, Justin Timberlake recently talked about the incident. Did you know that? I, I heard that. Okay, yes. on MTV. And this is some of what he said. He said, if you consider it 50-50, meaning I think that both of you are up there on the stage doing this, then I probably got 10% of the blame. I think America is harsher on women, he said, and I think America is unfairly harsh on ethnic people. So that's what he said. Oh, how many niggas, how many of us got to get shot? How many times we got to wave and da 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 Before you take a lick to your credibility right fast. What I like to call that is sins of omission. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Like the information that you're withholding or just you by you basically barring any sort of like feed feedback coming mm -hmm. to you. Like 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 that's the fucking darkness of it. Yeah, it's such a privilege. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have the privilege to engage and disengage yeah. however, whenever the mm -hmm. fuck you feel. While we in this, yeah, even right. if it's not us, if it look like that's the thing, because that's the thing that a lot of white Americans don't understand about the trauma that that shit does to us, dog. When a little black boy get got, we like that could be me. When a little black girl get got, that could have been my sister or my mom or my auntie. No matter what, there's something about it just in your unconscious. The African American community is looking at this issue through uh, a set of experiences and a, and a history that uh, that doesn't go away. There are very few African-American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. Whether you're the richest black person or the brokest black person that sees that shit and no one gets avenged. No one get, go, comes to task. Because we, we said this before, y'all talk about black on black, the myth of black on black crime, but guess what? Black killers go to jail, nigga. Right. You know what I mean? White killers, a lot of times when it's happening to us, and most times with cops, nothing gets avenged. That does something to your nothing. psyche. That does something to your fucking brain. When y'all get to pick and choose what arguments or what debates or whatever that you want to have, and then decide you want to be white again and not have to deal with it, that hurts us to a degree because then you, you like our friend in, in private or some shit. We didn't yeah. fed your pockets. You got our support, and now when we need you the most on some real shit, you disappear on us like the Avatar. Like, like that. Whatever, little fucking <laughs> when we need you the most, he disappeared. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> he said like the, the last airbender. <laughs> He's gone. One call, one thing, one moment, that shit don't change. And it's a real nigga's the real fucking thing.